Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay. Um, I hope you had a really nice weekend and kind of middle of the week so far. So I just wanted to do a video today just to show you guys the uh, Rio nail art kit that was sent to me by Rio. Um, this is the World Flags um, kind of kit. Now I've done one hand, um, I haven't done the other one just <laughs> Because obviously I'm right handed, my left hand is much easier to do. So I'll show you how they look. So that's my thumb. And then there are my kind of other nails. So what you get in the box, obviously you get this box. And then inside you get a few different things. So first of all when you open a pack, they give you a DVD to watch, just so you can actually kind of follow and see how to do the different styles. But you do also have kind of like a, well, it's a user guide in written form basically. So it just kind of opens out and tells you what to do. And then on the other side, you've got all the flags. But what I actually used instead, because they do give you a big design chart like this so I just used this kind of had that set in front of me just so as I could see kind of a bigger image um, and it didn't really take too long at all to be honest um, they give you a, this brush and this is for um, kind of as an example the flag here you would put the white on or sorry you put the white on with this brush just because obviously it's a large brush and um, it will cover a large area much easier However, I kind of, I did that first, and they are kind of, they're not exactly nail varnishes, they seem to come out more like a paint, a kind of a type formulation. Um, so the first time I sort of tried it, I found that if I tried to actually spread the colour across the nail bed, that it would kind of go a bit streaky. So I think there's a bit of a technique. Um, what you need to do is obviously uh, get the brush and kind of dip it in to the colour that you're going to use, for example white, and kind of put it on, but then rather than trying to spread it out, dip your brush back in and kind of put another um, kind of stroke until you've coated the whole nail. Now what I actually decided to do was to not use this brush. I'll show you how they look. So you get kind of a bottle that looks like that. Um, it comes in a tray with all your colours and so if you unscrew the top you have I'm not sure if you'll be able to see but you have a really super duper fine brush now this is actually the brush um, when I did kind of the, the colours on my fingers, I actually used the narrow brush for each of the um, colours. And then what you can also do, is once you kind of screw the top back on, if you just pull, then you also have, it's kind of a super duper fine tip, it's like a nib applicator, so you can actually use it like a pen. Um, that kind of comes in handy for designs that have kind of stars, just try and have a look here. So. For example, the Australian flag, that has stars, the um, Brazilian flag, um, Honduras, New Zealand, so anything with kind of really tiny details, you can actually use the nib applicator. So as I say, um, when I kind of very first tried it on my thumb, I thought that it kind of didn't really apply very well, but that was because of my technique. Um, so when I did the rest of the nails, this stuff actually is really quite good. Because it isn't like a nail varnish texture, it, for me it looks and kind of comes out much more like a paint, so it dries really quickly. Um, so I mean what I did is when I kind of did all the nails and they were all dry, I have gone over just with the top coat obviously to seal them in. Um, and it's actually really, really easy. Um, I mean kind of I've got a South African flag there, which my husband's very happy about obviously being South African. Um, that I kind of had to, I tried it once and I didn't kind of get the 
detailing quite right so I mean you do need to sort of have a bit of a steady hand which is why I haven't done this hand yet um, I will do um, I'll kind of maybe try and pick out some of the easier flags because anything that's too intricate and I'll end up spoiling the whole thing um, obviously I'm not ambidextrous um, I'm right handed so trying to do my right hand with the, the pot or the brush in my left hand is just going to look kind of bad um, but yeah I really like these as I said they dry really really quickly and I mean you get absolutely loads of product let's see if it says how much you get 10 mils in each bottle um, and I mean you can obviously do the designs that kind of come on the chart but you can do anything you like um, I don't know if you wanted to do maybe zebra nails you could get the black I'll try and get that out you could take your black you could kind of add your black and white stripes there you've got a zebra nail I've got bugs trying to get in my windows but I have them shut and I have them shut so you don't have your full um, traffic noise in the background um, let's see you could also do um, like a tiger type effect you could get like a separate pot or just kind of a small um, I don't know maybe a lid off of an empty bottle um, put some of the yellow and some of the red in mix it obviously to make an orange apply the orange over your nail then go over with your black stripes you've got a tiger nail so these are just different examples um, I mean obviously the kind of the limit is your own imagination um, so I will crack on and do my other hand um, I really like how it looks though I know that kind of the detail kind of the flags on the box they look amazing they don't have any squiggly bits or anything um, and mine do but that's fine you know um, so yeah and obviously what with the world cut kicking off on Friday um, so I'll get that hand done definitely um, and then I'll actually give you guys a good look at my right hand just because you know if it comes out really well then you'll be able to see just how good these can be. You can be so precise because you have got that nib applicator and that super, super duper fine brush. Um, as I say, you can just create any designs that you like. Kind of once the World Cup is over, you know, you're still going to have a ton of product left. Um, you can just kind of check on the internet different nail designs or just kind of use your imagination. Just try anything. Um, so, yeah, that is kind of the first attempt. Um, I'm sure, you know, as I use them, I'll get better and my kind of, my lines won't look quite squiggly as they do at the moment, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, at the moment, really loving the kit. Um, I think it's a brilliant price. I think it is £20, um, but definitely check out their website. Um, and I also need to get and crack on with a glitter tattoo as well, just to show you guys that as well. Um, so that is next on my list. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any questions, then please do just leave me a comment below or you can send me a message and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.